This is the ARCA intersection, also referred to as a super street. The ARCA acronym is short for Restricted Crossing U-Turn. It's another variation of the Michigan left and similar to the grade separated median U-Turn I've covered in the channel previously. This intersection would commonly be used on arterial roads in suburban or rural areas. I'll show you a couple of builds in action as well as a few more configurations you can adapt to use in your city to tackle your own particular traffic needs and of course I'll show you how to build it too. This is a nice solution where you need to handle more traffic than a regular signalised junction but less traffic than a grade separated ramped solution would call for. Here's how it works. The ARCA intersection limits the local roads to right turns only. So they can't turn left directly and they can't go straight ahead to the local road on the other side. So traffic entering the arterial from the local road must turn right, then use the U-turn to join the arterial on the other side. From there they can either continue along the arterial road or they can turn right onto the local road on the other side. Traffic on the arterial road can go in any direction but it will be controlled by traffic lights here and here to allow other traffic sources to either join the main arterial road or to cross over to the local roads. I'm using the vanilla two-phase traffic lights to control both the traffic completing the U-turns as well as the traffic making the direct left turns. Here's a couple of potential build ideas for you. On the first build I've created a small town centre with a modest commercial hub built around the road network. If you're developing small towns along an arterial road this could be a nice addition for your build. In fact a series of these junctions built along an arterial could produce a really decent result. I think more commonly this type of build is more likely. Well it's closer to what I found on Google Maps anyway. There's no development directly on the arterials but rather traffic is taken off completely from the main road and onto the local network to be distributed. But I also want to show you a few alternatives you might want to consider. First up is the R cut with no direct left turns. It's an interesting idea but one that I'd not necessarily recommend for anything other than your quieter intersections. The traffic started backing up on this one pretty quickly when I tried it out in a busy area. If you're looking for three-way intersection on your arterial road, this three-legged R-cut design worked pretty well. Uh, I definitely recommend it if you're looking to replace a basic three-way intersection in your one-way system. And the last configuration is this offset R-cut intersection. This is an interesting one. Uh, the U-turns are found between the direct left turns here and here. Looks pretty cool this one actually, I've not hooked it up so if any of you build it let me know how you get on. Uh, I think I'm going to use this in my rural farming areas, yeah, I like it, it's really nice. Any of these configurations shown can be adapted from the build guide I'm about to show. So let's get on with building it and I'll show you how to make it. So I'm going to build the arterial here, I'm going to use one more lane than what is actually required for this particular section of arterial. I find it easier to use one extra lane and then downgrade the road as required when we need to apply the lane math. For our local crossroad, I'm going to use the four lane two way road. Uh, feel free to experiment and use whatever roads you feel are appropriate for your own build. The markers are super simple on this one, grab a small road, pull out from the middle section of a local road and create markers on each direction of your arterial at 76 meters and then another 120 meters further down the road. The exact measurements don't matter too much, but just make sure that they're the same on each side if you want a symmetrical build. If you think this will be a particularly busy junction on your city, do the outside marker a bit further out than 120. Uh, you'll give your traffic a bit more space for weaving. We'll connect the arterials to the local roads now, use the curve road tool, deselect snap to zoning cell length uh, to get a bit more precision on the snapping. Pull from the outside lane on the arterial, find a guideline for the local road and pull down 72 meters. And just repeat the same on each of the four corners now. The U-turn sections are super simple, use the continuous curve road tool, from the inside lane pull along that arterial road a little, left click, then attach to the inside lane directly across on the other side of the one way system. Now we'll get rid of the markers apart from the original 72 meter markers.
onto the arterial left turns now. So from the inside lane at that 72 meter marker, pull along the main road with the curved road tool until you hit the guideline for the local road on the other side. At a 90 degree angle, pull straight down until you hit the length of 144 meters. And that measurement will give you a nice smooth curve. But feel free to use any other measurements if you want. It doesn't really matter as long as you get a nice curve going in there. It's all good. Now repeat the process on the other side. I'll just correct the traffic direction on these two now. Now, with the traffic lights, you can get rid of most of them. You'll only want them at these four points. As I said at the start, we'll start off with more lanes than what's required on this arterial. So let's get uh, downgrading and we'll apply some lane maths here. The very outside sections come down to three lane. The very inside sections come down to two lanes. And what we're looking for here is to get the number of incoming lanes to match the number of outgoing lanes, if possible, at any given junction. This will always help the traffic AI pick a lane, and ultimately, it'll help with the traffic flow on your intersection. There are a few junctions here, here and here, that will allow undesirable turns, so just go ahead and restrict them. We just want them to go straight ahead. Let's get rid of most of these crosswalks. Uh, we'll give pedestrians a route to get over the arterial via crosswalks through the middle of the intersection and we'll stick a little path in here to shorten the journey a little as well. If you want to keep things simple, just leave the crosswalks at these points. You'll allow pedestrian traffic from both sides of the local road and both sides of the arterial road to get across the main arterial roads. The intersection will benefit from the crossings here having traffic stopped on the signalised sections in the middle. Uh, and that'll allow pedestrians to cross without holding up traffic. You will find that the car traffic will be less where the arterial joins the local roads, so people should be able to cross here without too many issues. Nearly forgot, these two sections should be upgraded to two lane as well. I'm going to align the roads a little and smoothen things out somewhat. Completely optional, of course, you don't have to do this if you don't want. Now, to restrict parking, I'll apply some grass verges on these roads using the road tools. We'll stick some trees on here for a bit of decoration. Again, completely optional. If you want parking, feel free, um, but I think it's certainly desirable not to have it here. So there we have it. I hope I've sparked a bit of inspiration with this one. If I have, can I ask you to drop a like, a comment? It does really help the channel out. And obviously, if you're not following, go sort that out. You'll miss the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Here's a couple more for you to check out. Cheers.